Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to make some awesome text shadows using the free softwares GIMP and Blender. So you want to have both of them downloaded and installed and if you don't have them installed you can download them using the links in the description. You also want to download a Blender text template that we've included in the description. So we're going to start the tutorial by opening up that Blender text template. So we already have it open here. And you want to make sure you're in 3D view. So right click on one of the text objects. Press tab on your keyboard to erase the text and type your own custom text. Press tab to exit text edit mode and repeat the process for the second text object. Now you want to go into the top left of the screen here, click the render tab and select OpenGL render image and that will render your text out to an image that we'll be able to upload to GIMP. So image, save as image so that you save it somewhere on your computer. We chose our desktop for this tutorial. Name your image by typing the name of your image here and click save as image for you to open up into GIMP which we will jump into right here. Alright, so you want to open up the folder where you stored your image, in this case it's our desktop, so you want to just drag it over into GIMP. And now you got your scene, and let's make sure our background layer is a nice turquoise blue. So in the color selector, make sure you're up in there at blue, click the fill color tool, and left click here. So now you got your uh, you got your blue background and you got your text. Let's make our text shadow. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to left left click on our original text layer to select it. And we're going to make we're going to duplicate this layer so that we have another text layer. And we're going to make this text layer really dark and then we're going to blur it up to make it look like a shadow and then we're going to drop it below this text layer here. So let's get started on that. So colors, desaturate, click OK. Now colors, brightness, contrast, and put the contrast all the way up, brightness all the way down. Click OK, and do the same thing again. Contrast up, brightness down, and OK. Now, we're going to blur this up. So click filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to make sure both the horizontal and vertical values are set to 76 and click OK. So now we've got our shadow. Let's click this arrow and you can see it moves it behind our text. So one thing you do to make the shadow bolder is you can just right click and duplicate and just keep duplicating until you get a nice really dark shadow behind your text. So that looks nice right there. So now that we are finished creating the text, we want to save it as an image. So click File, Export As, and uh, just type whatever you want to name your file, your file name. And you can choose PNG or JPEG, and uh, we'll choose PNG, click Export, and Export. So if you want more text templates like this, we have, a, we have a bunch available on the Blender Market as a product called Text Factory. So we'll include the download link to Text Factory in the description and a link to it in the card here. So uh, now let's jump back into Blender. And you can see we've got our text template here. And uh, what Text Factory enables you to do is we've already got some gradients available here. But we have a lot of settings available or a lot of different types of presets for the text, different colors and different fonts and such. So uh, again, you can check it out in the description. And if you're into making Blender intros and animations, you can check out our Blender animation pack called Ultimate Motion Elements. It's a pack of more than 200 Blender animations, pre-animated and made for easy importing into your Blender projects. So you can check that out using the link in the card here and in the description. Also, if you want to support our channel, you can check out our Patreon at Partners in Crime GFX and check out some of our Blender educational tools in the description of this video. So, thanks a bunch for watching. 
subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video from partners in crime